so scared. But so excited. It's surgery day. It's currently 6.30 a.m. Um, I just woke up. I woke up late. I have to be at the clinic at 7.30, no later than 8. I have to remove all of my earrings. I'm scared. But I'll be you guys along. <laughs> I did a video when <clears throat> I was going into surgery, but you girl is done. Honestly, I'm not having pains right now. I just have mucus or blood in my throat. Um, but other than that, I'm pretty good. I'm super hungry and super thirsty, so hopefully I'm clear to go drink or eat right now because I need that. Come on, I'm going to get a lot of water. How did you get a lot of water? Good. Yes. If you don't have a lot of water, you're going to get a little bit of a little bit. It's very heavy, but I don't want to get it. I got changed. I took my thing off. Because, I don't know, I don't feel comfortable being butt-ass naked if it's not my bed. I got my IVs whatever they were putting on me, all of that, taken out. They changed my gauze, and now we're just waiting for a ride for her personal uh, driver. This motherfucker went to go get food. I haven't ate all day. I'm hungry too. He could have waited for us. But yeah, I'm super excited. It looks kind of creepy right now, but I did see the pictures the doctor took. Um, after he was done with the surgery and I really liked the I'm kind of scared with my tip though because I don't want my nose really big he said the swelling will go down a little smaller so I don't know we'll see if it doesn't turn out right then we'll do a part two in like a year also I'm gonna be coming back today's Tuesday I'm gonna be coming back Friday to get this changed out a cast for a new one also I got stitches under right here my nose so um he said after the four or five days um he'll see i'll send him progress picture then i'll send him i'll text him how i'm doing and then we'll determine when do i get my stitches taken out we'll get a new cast and then we'll be able to fly home Currently 9 p.m. I did rest a little bit. My nose is still bleeding a little bit. But I have to take a lot of medication every five to eight hours. <clears throat> I do nasal rinses. I got electrolytes. And yeah, I'll check back in. This is day one few hours after surgery uh, it is now nighttime it's day night one um, i put a little bit of it probably looks so ugly but i put some vaseline under my nose I change out my gloss um i have my neck pillow because i can't be leaning my head so hopefully this helps i put on my headphones uh just so i can listen to some music while i go to bed so like calm me down um i have put timers down on my phone so that <clears throat> i can see when i need to take my medication also the doctor gave me some thc cbd but like a little bottle so it, the bottle looks like this but i don't know where i put it but he gave me that i put it under my time at night time just in case if i can't sleep uh I just get high and knock out, I guess. It's been a rough, it hasn't been a rough day, honestly. I haven't been having any pains. I do feel a little bit of pressure right here and on the sides. If I look towards the side, you can see like a bump. And that's, that's literally all the swelling. And the cast is holding that down just to keep its shape. I have a little bit. So I currently had breakfast about 1 p.m. I did wake up till later. Um, my swelling has 
up and going a little bit up around my t-zone under my eyes i did been having a little bruising so i literally wasn't recording that whole time but basically it's about 8 p.m i've been asleep all night um i just took some medication and i did a diesel rinse um what i was saying is i'm no longer bleeding out of my nose i do still have some dry blood around my stitching and every time it moves it holds all the stitching and it hurts so i've been trying to clean that um also i do my lips have been getting super dry from having this under my nose just to catch up my boogers and everything um but so far pretty good the swelling on my face has really kicked in and i don't know if you can see i do have some bruising now going on um, but other than that, pain, I would say it's about a four. It does only burn a little bit where the stitching is. I'm going to go ahead and take some vitamin C, eat a little bit, and then go back to bed because I've been feeling a little drowsy, really drowsy. Um, but I think I'm going to take a little nap and then finally get in the shower. And we'll see how that works because the shower is like right above and I have to not get my face wet so I had an appointment this morning to go get my face tape removed I went to go do that I forgot to block that from what I'm seeing in the mirror um my face looks so swollen like it's ridiculous it's so different like I literally look crazy I'm officially on day four Yesterday was day three, I didn't vlog anything just because the pain was coming a little bit where they did the incision and my face was a little bit swollen so I stayed all day in bed and I didn't really do anything but wake up, take my medication, eat, and then sleep. Today we were a little bit more active because we went and got this removed. They were going to take the stitches out but it's... We looked at it and it's a little too early for that so yeah um i think today will be my last day here and then tomorrow i'm gonna go back to the little town with my aunt and my grandparents they told me i really couldn't be in the sun for too long because uh i can get scarring from the bruises as well but every morning i've been coming out to get a little sun before it gets really really hot um, just because I need some vitamin C because being stuck in a room all day is depressing and sad. It gets boring. Well, I think since I'm vlogging, I might as well show you guys how I clean my nose. I don't know how much you can see of me, but basically I fill this up to the top with water, put it in the microwave, stick this in there, and then with the... I guess it's like a little hose. Basically, I put this little hole in my nose, squirt it, and then the water just squirts out. I have to get purified water doing this because if I get sink water, I can risk. Oh shit. I spilled it. If I get sink water, I can run the risk of having a bacterial infection just because that water isn't sanitized. Just grab some of my contact solution. I really like this one, BioTrue, because it's multi purpose. I'll just grab a little cotton ball or a cotton swab. I'll make it wet and then I'll insert it into my nose just to get rid of all of the blood around the stitching. I'm just gonna go ahead and rinse my nose and since I can finally. I got the tape removed from my face. Um, they gave me this soap. It's like a honey CBD. I don't know what's in it, but it's, I can use it. Wash my face because my face still feels sticky from all the residue that was on it. I just thought it'd be easier <clears throat> just to wet this. I rub it on my face, especially in the areas that it's really sticky. Face literally does not look like my face, and I'm literally scared because I've never seen my face this swollen before. Sorry, like my voice is very like low. I've been having 
like my throat has been really dry because I've been congested. I haven't been able to like speak loud because my throat has been really dry these past days and it hurts to talk a little bit. But the main thing is we drink a lot of liquid to keep me hydrated. I've been talking a little less because every time that I, ooh, like right there, every time that I talk for too long, um, my upper lip will pull on the stitches and it hurts. Good morning, we are on day five. It is April 1st. It's officially day five of recovery. No, day four of recovery. Day five since surgery. Um, I woke up a little late this morning just because I didn't go to sleep last night until like 3, 4 a.m. I was having issues uh, with my throat being super dry and my nose clogged. There was a moment where I could um, breathe out of my nose, but then it stopped and I almost choked because I wasn't expecting that. So far, this is my face. So far, bruising hasn't been, oh, that's stupid. So far, bruising hasn't been that bad. My cheeks, though, I look like a chipmunk. It's literally ridiculous, and I thought it was so funny. Today, um, I'm about to take my medication, and I'm gonna hop in the shower and get ready, because I'm gonna be heading back to my aunt's house in, the little town that they live in where all my family lives in i'm super grateful for my brother's girlfriend who has been letting me stay here she lives in guadalajara so it's it's literally like a 25 to 30 minute drive from here to the clinic that i've been going to and i already gone to my appointment my checkup my first checkup appointment and my next one isn't until like Wednesday or Thursday, like my last days that I'm here. I feel like I've gotten a little bit better now where I can travel the hour and a half, almost two hours back to the little town. I feel like I'm in the safe zone now. So, but you know, anything can always happen. But I'm excited to go back to go see my family. My grandpa was um, looking for me. The day before I went to go visit him, and I went to go visit my aunts, but my aunts weren't there. It was just me and my grandpa. We were talking for a while. And I told him, I was like, well, I have to go visit my grandma from my mom's side. Uh, I was like, I'll come back as, um, and later when they're here. He was like, yeah, yeah, that's fine. Fast forward, I am when I'm like making my wrap around back to my grandpa's house the doors are locked lights are off i'm like shit 8 30 otherwise everyone is asleep i was like whatever i went back home then boom surgery and so he was kind of like this bitch was supposed to be back and say hi to her aunt where is she at and apparently my dad's family didn't know i was coming to have surgery which isn't bad because i did not tell a lot of people i was coming to what had i barely told some um friends and family and i told my cousin that i'm really close to uh a couple of my friends that i'm really close to and obviously my family that i'm staying over here with um that i was doing it but other than that i haven't posted anything i haven't shown that i'm out here which is not like i want to make it like a woo surprise i got my nose done but it's just kind of like i want good vibes during my recovery so I don't want anyone to send me no hate, no malas vibras, nothing like that. I want to have a full smooth recovery. Um, and then once I'm good, once I feel 100% better, then I'll go ahead and post about it. Okay, so I just got done showering. I straightened my hair. Um, I put on a two-piece set just so I could feel a little bit more like myself. I'm gonna be getting picked up in about two hours. So I've been cleaning around, helping around, um, just to tidy up the space. I did eat already as well. I do wanna add that when, after I showered, I did a deep cleanse, cause you guys can see all of my tragic, tragic bug bites all over my arms. 
my legs aren't that bad it's just a couple here and there because i've been wearing sweats during the nighttime but my arms are killing so um i put on a hemp soap just to help alleviate the itchiness and the swelling i finally got to my aunt's today is april 2nd sunday april 2nd my swelling has definitely gone down a little bit and all i've been doing has i've been sleeping um i do need to get up and eat so i think i'm gonna go ahead and shower and i'm gonna go to my grandpa's house so now i'm gonna go visit my grandpa i had to put on my glasses so that i don't look crazy but i got changed got dressed um i'm gonna go have dinner with them before they go to church i took the back roads it's just this is like the little canal right down here it used to be like a water thing where they get fresh water but i guess they stopped that i'm taking a shortcut just because i don't want to go through the main roads and look all crazy and busted hit a stop point so now i have to turn around and go do something on the correct road I think I hope what good thing is I'm wearing my glasses right now because I still have my cast on so it still have something to hold on if I didn't have my cast um, I could only tape this and tape it to my forehead which is kind of weird I made it to my grandpa's house and I've just been talking with my aunts for a little bit so now I'm just having dinner and I have my grandpa here with me and I'm just gonna spend some time. So it seems like people really aren't out this morning. Um, I got up a little bit earlier to go to my grandma's house and then have some breakfast and possibly see if I can stay with them the next two days. So good thing is, my face isn't looking crazy today. I'm currently staying in my grandpa's house. Um, this is officially day seven. It's Tuesday. Um, officially one week post-op since my surgery happened. This is how I've been looking. Not too bad, not too crazy, which is really good. I haven't really felt comfortable where I was staying at, so... I'm gonna spend my last few days with my grandpa. I'm also done with my medication. I am still taking the Nox prison just because um, that does help with a little bit of the pain when I do have it. So that's the only thing that I've been taking. Um, but other than that, all my medication, I'm just done with it. I am taking some electrolytes too, though, just because I haven't been feeling my best. <laughs> Tú me dices si tienes alguna molestia. Okay. Y cuando me lo pongo tiene que ser como apretadito o... ¿Ese es el mismo que tenía? Uh -huh. okay. Un poquito caliente. Uh -huh. Más presión. Una vez que ya estén todas despegadas... I went and got my stitches taken out earlier. I got my tape changed and they reapplied my cast. So I have one more week with my cast on. Next Tuesday, I have to take off my tape again, take my cast off, wash myself, and then reapply only the tape. I don't have to do no more casts. But honestly, I went reapply my cast just because I have to remove this uh, dip it in hot water and then I can form it up to my skip base and I have to keep my tape on for about a month a month and a half um so yeah I really want to t really take care of myself so I think I'm gonna put the cast on depending on how I start to feel yep. finally leaving the airport 